evening everyone it feels weird starting my vlog in the evening um but how are you guys we're just watching bluey and playing because bluey is the best kid show i've ever watched it's so funny i actually like cackle it's really funny if you haven't seen it but how are you guys i thought i could start a yes a little couple of days with me weekly vlog don't really know what i'm going to call it to be honest with you but i just thought i could pick up the camera and film the twins are currently in here they're playing they seem happy however they are teething <laughs> to the max which is hard i'm not gonna lie teething and a baby is hard teething and twins is hard <laughs> And I can imagine teething and triplets is hard. It's just hard. But it's just a phase and I need to keep reminding myself that. But I, it, yeah. It's just, it's just been quite difficult. And I feel lucky because to be fair, they have been sleeping through in the night. Which is good. Or like they're waking up once. And I know a lot of people with teething babies, they're literally up every hour. So I do feel really lucky that we've got like a good routine and stuff with it all. But. I know it doesn't take away the fact that it's so hard in the day oh honestly I feel like I'm so behind with work I'm so behind on deadlines and stuff just trying to get everything done it's just it's just a little bit difficult and of course we have help from family and stuff but I don't know if anyone else's babies are like this but with the twins they just want me or Bradley um, and obviously Bradley only works from home two days a week so it's just a bit like <sighs> so it's been hard but <gasps> who's home now? Daddy home! <laughs> Yay! Daddy's home! Hello. Hi, you okay? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Do you miss me? Have you missed me? I missed you. Can I have kisses? Yeah, <laughs> you want kisses? Yeah, Mommy's a bit more serious. Hey, can I have smiles? You uh, trouble boy. You trouble boy. <laughs> you trouble boy. Yeah. So we have the app ourselves, we order it every week ourselves, and it's just so, one, it's so easy and convenient with our lifestyle. We've obviously, we're new parents, we need to not think about as many things, so like not thinking about what we're having for dinner just makes it so much easier. We also save so much money as well. I love how with all the different recipes and stuff that they have, there's things in there that I wouldn't even think to cook as well. You can pick things that are like calorie smart, that are family friendly, um, that are really quick and easy to cook as well. It's just such a good thing to do. And I'm really excited to say that HelloFresh have kindly partly sponsored today's video. So if you use my code ARW2024, you'll get 60% off your first box. And I'm gonna pop the savings on screen. I think you get everything for like 12 pounds. So you get 60% off your first box and then 20% off the next two months. Plus, they're also doing, with this code, free desserts for life, which is incredible. The desserts that they do are so tasty. We really love them. I also love how you can pick for however many people you wanna cook for. Um, there's no food waste as well, which is something I really love because I hate getting loads of ingredients in and then only using a couple and then the rest of the food is like wasted. I hate that. So you use the exact amount of ingredients and the dinners are just so tasty. So this is one of mine and Freddie's favorites, the stir fried honey sesame beef noodles. We get this all the time. And um, we've also got the sticky honey soy salmon rice bowl. Um, and then also a rump steak and cheesy garlic mash which I'm not gonna lie, I don't know which one we're gonna go for tonight because they all look so good. And they are so tasty. So in the box, this is all the chilled stuff, so like the meat and things like that. And then for example, if I get 
the bags out. So each of the bags are numbered as well as all the cards. Um, so all you do is match the number on the card to the bag and then majority of the ingredients are in that bag. So it's really easy. We've done it for three people so I can have it for my lunch tomorrow as well. You can obviously do it for two people, four people, however many people you want. You can also skip a week as well. So for example, when we go on holiday in May, I think like the end of May actually, um, we will skip that week because obviously we're away and then you just carry it back on the week after when you want to. Um, so it's just so easy and it just really works with our lifestyle. We never have the question of like, oh, what are we gonna have for dinner? Which is the worst. <laughs> and you get such yummy dinners as well. And it's like things that you don't really think to cook or like ingredients you don't really think to use and it all just works so well um, and it's so tasty. So yeah, we love it. We're customers ourselves. I have the app, I'll show you. I have the app on my phone. Um, so yeah, it's just really easy. I've got dinners and stuff coming up as well. You can obviously change any recipes. There's so many recipes to choose from that cater to different people as well. So yeah, we really love it. Um, like I said, my code is ARW2024. I'll pop it on screen and then also everything and my link in the description box. I'll also pop a QR code on screen. So if you're sitting on the sofa or anything, you can just scan the QR code and it will take you to the page, um, which includes obviously my discount code as well. Definitely use my discount code. You get 60% off your first box and then 20% of the next two months plus free desserts for life, which is so good. I also like the add-ons that they do as well. We've had before, I think it was like the meatballs and bacon or something. It was so tasty. Um, but yeah, they do like add-ons and things like that as well. So all my info to Fresh will be in the description box down below. And I don't know what dinner we're gonna have tonight. Let me ask Bradley what he wants. Because I think he's very hungry. What's your preference? Ooh, That's our favourite. What have we got? <laughs> we always have that, that one. Our, that's our go-to. Yeah, this is a new one. Oh, wow, that looks nice. Ah, oh. Yeah, I do like Hello Fresh. We just decide in a bit. At least you've seen them all now. Hello. That's more of like a Friday dinner. Yeah, it is. We always go for steak on a Friday. Yeah, we do. So salmon or our go-to. Hmm. I think I'm feeling noodles tonight. What are you feeling? Yeah, I think I could go noodles. Yeah, let's go noodles. Okay. Yummy. This is tonight's dinner. I forgot to mention as well. So on the card, they all look like this. And then if you turn the card over, it's literally six simple steps of instructions of how to cook it. Um, and then you have all the nutritional information here, the ingredients, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's just really easy and simple to follow. We honestly love it so much. It's just, it's just really good. So thank you Telefresh for partly sponsoring. We love it and we're customers already, so it works really well. So we put the twins down. Sorry about the mess and the washing and stuff in the background. It's just been one of those weeks. Um, Bradley's in the background there. He's watching football. But I'm gonna kick this. Like I said, we got it for three because I get to have it for lunch the next day too, um, which makes me very happy. So I'm gonna click this now. I'll show you guys the final result after. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to eat. So this is our dinner tonight. I mean, it's a little bit messy on the sides. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so like I said, my code is ARW2024. You'll get 60% off your first box and then 20% off the next two months and then free desserts for life. Um, I'm very excited to eat this, are you? Thank you. You're welcome, sorry it's a bit messy. <laughs> you wouldn't have done that. Really, Bradley's a lot neater. Do you actually? Yeah. Oh, I'll do that. No, that's okay. Oh, I feel bad. Just have different standards. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Mm. It looks good though. It does look. Yeah. Yummy. Good 
morning everyone oh my makeup doesn't look good today i did like two minute makeup and i basically chucked makeup on my face and it just doesn't look good so sorry about that it is very very patchy but how are you i hope you're having a lovely day or evening when do you guys actually watch my videos do you watch them in the morning or evening and what day of the week do you watch my videos i'm just intrigued because i've always uploaded every sunday but I always like watching videos on like a Saturday. And then if I upload two videos a week, do you prefer it on a Wednesday just to break up the week? Or yeah, what days do you prefer? I feel like I've uploaded on a Thursday before and you guys really like Thursdays. So yeah, I don't know what other days to upload or like what times, cause I kind of just upload when the video's ready, like very last minute. I film very real time. Um, because I kind of have to. I'm just putting some lip balm on because my lips feel really dry at the minute. Um, this is the best lip balm. It's the By Terry Balm de Rose. It's so good. And it's expensive, but the pot lasts so long. And my lips will stay like moisturised for a long time. I popped you on a really weird tripod, so sorry about that. But anyway, how are you guys doing? It is currently Monday. My mum is here. She's now going to come basically every Monday, which I'm so excited about because it just helps me with the babies it helps me get work done for the week i feel productive i like mondays because it's like a fresh start but then when i'm by myself it's really hard to do that so it's really nice to have a helping hand she is being amazing she's literally cleaning downstairs at the minute which i'm just so grateful for and i've come upstairs done the quickest makeup ever and i'm now in my beauty room um, which is a little bit messy at the minute and i basically want to sort it out so if you watch my previous video um oh, I hate having a hair bun on because it literally hurts my wrist. Um, you would have seen that we had a wardrobe clear out and I basically got rid of, well not like chucked, but put away in storage my winter stuff. Bradley said today he's going to go in the loft and get me my spring summer stuff, which I'm looking forward to. We go on holiday in five and a half weeks and... I'm not gonna lie, nothing fits me. <laughs> I saw this meme when it was like trying on all my summer clothes and the only thing that fits me right now is my flip flops. And I feel like I can't relate to that more. So yeah, if you're struggling at all at the minute, we're all in the same boat. <laughs> and I just, I wanna know what actually fits me. I'm kind of nervous, but I mean, it's fine. I feel like my weight has fluctuated so much over the years and obviously I've had the twins, but at the end of the day, it is literally just weight. It's literally not a big deal at all. I can see Romy stirring so i was hoping to clean my beauty room now okay he stopped so yeah in the last video i basically sorted out my wardrobe and then this video i want it to be very spring and light and just fresh so i want ready to go in the loft and get um the spring summer clothes so then i can put them in the wardrobe and basically try on what fits me um, and then in here i want to basically put all my bags that are on the door which i really don't like and I want to put them on this rail just so they're really neat. I've seen, I think online, you can get like, they're like coat hangers, but for handbags. So I want to get them to put them here. I think that would look really nice for now, just to have like somewhere to put all of my bags. But yeah, this is a very small selection of my handbags. A lot of them are in my wardrobe. So I also want to go through like the spring summer ones and basically just have them here. So like I can have them out. I also want your guys advice and opinion on this room so this area here excuse the clothes because it's a mess but like obviously we've got the day bed we've got the rail here and then we've got the shelves am i zooming in yep i'm zooming in soz and i really love the look of this this is really good when people stay it also pulls out it's just really really handy and we can't not have the day bed because like my mum stays or anyone and it's just it's just good to have so yeah obviously i need to make this look neat and put those clothes away but yeah, I really like this shelf. And then you kind of come over here. So that is all going to be moved. And I'm going to put that rail. Is that a rail? The door hook thing? In the twins room so I can put their towels on there. Um, because they need that so much more than me. And then over here, again, we need to clean this up today, guys. I've got my chair drobe here. It obviously looks like this. I need to put this lamp downstairs because it doesn't work. There's no plug here. And it would actually work downstairs there's a bulb in there and um, all i need to do so i had to change my camera battery um yeah this got delivered like this all i need to do is get a glue gun and stick it around and i do have a glue gun downstairs so maybe i can do that soon um, and i think i want to put this 
where the twins like play area is in like the dining area downstairs because we have accents of black and obviously like creamy white and I think that looked better and it literally has no purpose here because there's no plug on this wall and obviously we've got this lamp here this lamp is gold and I think this room I've got a lot more gold and stuff in here yeah I love that um but I basically I've been touring between what to do I feel like this is kind of wasted space and I think it's got so much potential I really want to do is get a double Ikea wardrobe leave it open and put like a couple of rails a couple of shelves and have a display of like basic clothes a couple of my handbags a couple of candles and then I can actually film and stuff in front of it do you know what I mean do you think that's a good idea or not <laughs> please let me know in the comments because that's kind of where my head's at, at the minute and then what I could do is get the Ikea wardrobes and put drawers in it and then all the stuff that's in these drawers put in there because I just I'm really bored of this I've had this display for the longest time like even in my old house and I just want something now to like have all of my stuff in so that's kind of where I'm at and then over here obviously we've got um, my Ikea dressing table and drawers and stuff but again I'm kind of bored of like the Ikea decor and to be honest with you I've had this again for years literally years and years um, a lot of it I've had since living in the flat Ikea decor is really good but it's very basic and it's very basic and I think everyone kind of has it in the, in the home at like some point and I think I want a really nice different dressing table and like drawers and stuff like that so I'm kind of on the hunt for that at the minute but yeah that's kind of where I'm at with the decor bit in here I think it'll look really nice and like open the space up and then I could kind of put a different mirror here maybe a taller one it would come out a bit further because this wall kind of goes in but I think it would make the room look bigger if that makes sense because I think the mirror would like open the space and like the light would, would reflect better but yeah let me know what you think um I do want to take this downstairs so I'm going to do that in a minute I've also got a hello fresh delivered so I need to pack that away um, and I want to make a smoothie again today I kind of just want to be healthy um, and make little changes what my problem is I'm like healthy all day then I reward myself in the evening with like more teasers <laughs> and two biscuits so I need to somehow try and stop or like cut down am I the only one that whenever I need motivation I need to work out I just need like gym wear and not loads of it just like a staple piece is anyone else the same I just need like a staple thing that I know is gonna make me feel good I'm gonna be excited to wear it and then it kind of makes you more excited to work out and um, I shop in two places for gym wear glow mode which is on Shein and H&M for me those are the best quality I do love Gymshark as well but obviously it's a little bit more pricey so I picked this up the other day from H&M they do have matching bottoms but matching bottoms are out of stock but then I was on my Instagram the other day looking at pictures of this time last year of me basically a flat stomach and I just thought I wasn't in shape or anything and it's just so annoying isn't it when you have a baby and you're like oh my god the body before you just you kind of take for granted kind of wish i enjoyed it a little bit more but anyway i picked up this jacket it's like this bluey lilac-y kind of color but i thought it's so nice for spring summer add a little bit of color add a little bit of like spring to my day um and it'll go with everything so i'm gonna wear this today because i really like it and i think it's just such a nice color i'll pop a link to it down below um i've seen a couple of things on h&m that i am loving at the minute so I think I'm going to do like a little H&M new in haul maybe soon in a vlog or something if you guys would like that because I love H&M. What do we think? I really like it. I really like the colour. It's got little thumb holes. It's not too thick. It's kind of easy to wear and it looks like this and then obviously you can do it up if you want but yeah I really like it. The first thing on the agenda today is for me to clean my beauty room <laughs> i just hate doing stuff like this i've been putting it off and it's got worse so i'm not helping myself here but i need to get it done so enjoy a time lapse wish it took that quick in real life but it is what it is also if i haven't been in focus this whole time i'm really sorry if i haven't been in focus that's really annoying um but anyway let's clean together we can do this
Okay, so in here is a lot tidier. My mum's just come and hoovered it in here, bless her. I've just put the twins down for another nap. Um, so yeah, this is what it's looking like. So this is the rail that I want to hang the bags on. What I want to try and do is be as organised as possible when it comes to my handbags. I want to have nothing in them, so every time I use them, they're like fresh. Do you know what I mean? And what I want to start doing is getting pouches like this and having it for different things. For example, this one's got like my makeup in and some perfume, paracetamol, like makeup-y bits. So I can just grab this and put this in a bag. And then the other stuff I kind of just want to put away. Like in here I've got moisturiser, compi, de bronzer, um, <laughs> nappy bags. Tell me you're a mum without telling me you're a mum. Do you know what I mean? I kind of just want to make them all clear and I want to do the same to these ones. And then when the twins wake up, I'm taking the lamp downstairs. Hold on. So this lamp, I was thinking of putting it in the corner over here because there's not a lamp there and it's a bit dark at night. I think I like it without the stand because it comes with this obviously but it's broken like that it's a bit wonky so I don't know if I prefer it even without it yeah I think it looks a lot more sleek Hey guys, sorry, it's just been one of those days where the day's just gone, like it's 12 past four and, sorry, I'm gonna turn the monitor down a little bit. Um, I just don't know where the day's gone. My makeup's like falling off my face because I didn't do it very good this morning. These are the desserts. So with my code, you get free desserts for life. And I'm trying to be healthy, but I just need to look at these. How nice do they look? They look incredible. I've got two. I'm so excited for this. You don't understand. Dessert is sorted. And they also put these in, okay? Anytime I see these on HelloFresh, I will add them because these are one of my favourite chocolates ever and I tried to get them in Tesco's the other day and Tesco's doesn't do them so does anyone know where I can get these from apart from HelloFresh they're just amazing they are honestly so good okay, I just took the bottom off because it was just it was winding me up but also I think I prefer about it anyway and um, so I just wanted to add a little bit of warmth in this corner Okay, Marley's woken up, but this is the lamp in the corner. We think it looks so much nicer and just softer. And I think in the evening especially, it'll be really nice. Obviously, when they start actually playing in here, it's obviously gonna change completely, but they can't touch it for now, so it's quite nice. Romy is still asleep, but I'm on tea duty. Oh, my mum. 
got a little Marley here playing on his play mat because Romy is still asleep. I'm literally watching him on the monitor now. <laughs> and my mum is so good. She's making the next to me cribs higher. Because we're getting a mattress topper, we basically need the next to me cribs to match the mattress topper, if that makes sense. Um, so she's put those up for us, which is really, really helpful. And I'm just enjoying my tea, watching Marley on the floor. My camera just seems to be focusing on everything today, apart from me, which is really annoying. Uh, my mum's honestly been so helpful. She'll come round around once a week and it's like everything that you need to be done, she gets done like all the cleaning and the washing and helping with the twins so I can get work done. It's just, I honestly, I feel so grateful and I know I'm very lucky to have that because I know loads of people don't. So I feel really productive today and I've managed to get loads of work, bits and bobs, bobs, <laughs> bits and bobs done. Um, what's your favorite teas? As I've like weaned off breastfeeding, I can now have peppermint tea because it was meant to dry up your milk. So peppermint tea is like my favorite tea ever. So I'm just so obsessed with it. So I just love having it again. And I also like the cranberry and I think it's cranberry and raspberry. That's a really nice tea. But I'm having a tea and we've got some biscuits. The caramel and the Fox's Crunch Creams. So good, really good biscuit. It's now raining, but it's a really cozy day. Everywhere feels really clean. I know there's like washing and stuff behind me, but it is all really clean. And my battery is flashing. <laughs> so I think, so I need to go and change my battery. Good morning guys. It's been a few days, I'm not gonna lie. I started this vlog on Monday. It's currently Wednesday, but a really itchy nose. I think my hay fever's coming because this morning my nose hasn't stopped streaming. I honestly, <laughs> I get the worst hay fever, especially when I was pregnant. So I'm hoping it's not as bad as last year when I was really pregnant, but I do get really bad hay fever and it's just such a nightmare. But anyway, yesterday was a write off for me. I'm not gonna lie. Of course, I'm gonna talk to you guys about all the good things. And I think like social media is such like a highlight reel, which I think can be really positive and just kind of let you escape and let you kind of escape. And I think it's quite a good like gratitude journal in a way. But yeah, yesterday was a really hard day. I was by myself and the twins have started teething. So as you can imagine, teething in twins it isn't ideal, but it also meant that they didn't want to sleep at all yesterday for more than 20 minutes minutes and it was literally one of those days where one twin was up then the other one was asleep and then they would just rotate so I, I had no free time and it's annoying because I was getting in such a good routine with it all and to be fair I feel like we are back on track today I'm just blaming their teeth but it was just a really hard day and it just made me really appreciate single parents my mum's a single parent growing up and anyone who's watching who's a single parent I think you're amazing because I struggled a lot yesterday and of course I'm by myself with the twins majority of the time like in the day but then as soon as Brady comes home from work I'm like okay, I can just like less pressure is on me if that makes sense yeah if you're a single parent you are amazing I mean parents in general are amazing but it was a really hard day I mean a few tears were shed I'm not gonna lie and the thing is they were feeding so well I've always like struggled more with my back with feeding them both at the same time they're both feeding amazingly literally finishing their bottles faster than ever but I think because their teeth are coming through they were in such discomfort that they were just waking up all the time and they just wanted me they both just wanted me and I think that's the hardest part about being a twin mum is when your babies want you at the same time and like they're at the stage now where they kind of look and they know and then they're like hey why is he on you and not me and it makes you feel so guilty but I got through it and I said to Brady it was the most unproductive productive day because I was in my pajamas all day it was one of those days didn't brush my teeth was in my pajamas all day <laughs> literally one of those days in any free time that I had I was just doing emails and like any admin um, editing a couple of reels and stuff like that so when I look back and if I was to write it all down I did complete loads of things what is this bit of heading I did complete stuff but in terms of my work to do list and I cooked dinner and everything but it was just yeah teething is not fun if you have any teething tips please let me know in the comments of course I have tips and stuff for my sisters and obviously my mum and stuff but every baby is so different so if you have any tips that you're like oh my god this worked for me and nothing else worked please let me know anyway I want to sort through my bags on the door and the day bed here and put them on the rail 
Um, I've seen on Amazon, actually, these, they're like hooks for bags. I think I spoke to you guys about them. You can get them in different colours, but they look like this. So it doesn't ruin the bag. And I want that for that rail, but I've got like the velvet coat hangers for now. So I'm going to pop them on that for now just to kind of see and then if i decide to keep them on that rail then i'll probably order those but if not and i get the ikea shelf and things like that then um i'll put it in there but yeah i need to take them all down and i think marley's waking up <laughs> okay i think we're on a tight time scale for their nap time <laughs> but i'm just going to try and do as much as i can so i'm going to take these off and put them on the bed Why is it when you're trying to be quiet and the floorboards in your house come alive? It's like they're so sleepy and then you creak and then they're like, <laughs> like no, it's so annoying. Anyway, these are some of my bags. My summer ones, I actually haven't got out since last year uh, in my wardrobe and under the bed. So I'm going to do that hopefully at some point today because I want to put like my spring summer bags here. Like I wouldn't really say this one is very spring summery. So I'm going to put some of them away and kind of swap. But the ones that are here, um, like I said to you, I just want to kind of sort through each of them. And then I want to put a little pouch together of my makeup and stuff and then like my purse and any like essentially bits. And then I can just kind of grab and go um, as and when with each bag. So yeah. The twins are up, we're gonna have to do this again soon. It is literally, <laughs> it's 6 p.m. now. I think I last picked the camera up this morning. And I'm picking you back up in the exact same spot. And I think this video is gonna go live a day later now, which is annoying, but it's fine, it is what it is. Anyway, I've had Bradley's mum here today helping. His dad came around, so that's been really nice. See them and obviously they can see the bubbers. Bradley is home from work and he's feeding the twins so i thought we can finish doing this and i also before that want to get in the shower <laughs> i want to have an early shower which i never have so this feels like a luxury so i'm going to have a shower get in my pajamas a little cozy and then we can sort out the bags okay before that what i want to do is in the bedroom i'm not going to keep the curtains open because there's no point but this is what our room looks like it's a mess so i just want to get it all ready for bed later obviously the twins sleep in the next to me cribs but i feed them on our bed so it looks like this <laughs> so this is just a reality to be honest with you but i just want to clean it make it all tidy so then when we do take them up for bedtime soon it's all ready so yeah let's do that Never do what's best for me. I was such a hopeless fool. I just kept making the same mistakes. Yeah, that was until I found you. favorite <laughs> summer bags from my wardrobe and because obviously we moved house I haven't unpacked them since we moved which was last summer we moved house I was pregnant we didn't travel anywhere so I just didn't like open them I wish I packed them better I'm not gonna lie like my glowy bag can you see it's like I know it's really minuscule but it's like it should be a bit more like this but I mean it's fine 
oh i've got this in here actually um this is it's like a bag organizer which is so useful i love this i've just got all of my summer bags that i absolutely love and adore um, and my favourite summer hat, which I think is just so cute. This bag is from Teddy Blake. I think this is probably my most worn bag ever. And it, I don't think Teddy Blake is much of like a well-known brand, I'm not sure. But this is also a bag from them. And I worked with them on these. And honestly, I love them both so much. I've got my two Zara bags from last year. I think these are my best finds from last year, like in terms of like accessories. I definitely got the use out of them. I wore them to death and this looks so nice with like white summer dresses, sandals. I always have like a deodorant or a perfume in these bags. I can't use this anymore because I use the wild deodorant, the natural one. It takes a while for your body to get used to but I actually can't use any other one now because I actually smell. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to make these look all neat. I have a feeling that there's not going to be enough space. So you might have to do some at the bottom but... I kind of want them out so I remember to use them because they're hidden in my wardrobe, I forget. Hence why I do want the Ikea thing here because I think I'll see them all and I'll want to use them. Does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to hang them up. I'm going to do the big ones at the back and then gradually smaller. It is just editing me here. I wanted to come on and do an outro because I feel like this year, since I've basically had the twins, um, my outros have just been awful and I'm well aware. I think it's because I film a lot and then whenever I edit, the twins are asleep, especially at night I edit. Um, but today they're napping and they're actually napping really well. So I'm like taking this opportunity to like sit down, edit on the island. Um, and I thought I'm going to film an outro because... I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching and just sticking around and enjoying my videos. I don't think you guys realise how much you mean to me and like all your lovely comments that you leave me and everything. It's just so lovely, like especially when I've had a hard day with the twins and all your messages are just so encouraging and you're like, you're amazing. And it's just, your energy is just incredible. Um, so yeah, thank you. Just thank you for taking the time to watch my videos still and leaving comments and like using my discount codes and stuff like that. Like it honestly, it means so much to me. It just helps to support me so much. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. And you know, I only work with brands that I really genuinely love and I use and I'm a customer of anyway, so yeah sorry about the washing in the background um don't forget you can use my code arw2024 um from hello fresh and you'll get 60 percent of your first box and then 20 percent of the next two months plus free desserts for life they've also because this deal is only limited they've also given me another code which i'm also going to pop in the description box um which if that code the first one that i spoke to you guys about expired then use the other code just because i don't want you guys to miss out and i thought it was so nice for them to give me that so yeah get in there quick the code and stuff will be in the description box both of them will um and this week i have got a few videos going live i've got one going live on thursday which is already like scheduled to go up and then also one on sunday i was also thinking of filming more like twin related videos if you guys are interested um i was thinking of filming like a twin must-have video and yeah stuff like that like routines so just let me know in the comments what you guys want to see and um, thank you so much just for being you and for being lovely i love you guys and i will see you on thursday for my next video